So for my first field study, which was also my first time attending a Catholic Mass, um, was in St. Ignatius Loyola. Um, when I looked at the outside, it looked like a basic building, but inside it was completely different. It was very beautiful, beautiful architecture with stained glass um, and a huge organ in the back. And when I um, researched online, I actually found out that that was the largest organ in New York City. As you can see in the pictures, they're really nice. Um, given that the church was so big, I did not expect so many people would attend, but the entire place was almost full. Um, the program we got um, was very detailed and it had a um, processional hymn on it, but every other piece that was played was referenced from a book. And you can see in the pictures, those were um, placed in front of you. So the, the book was called Worship, um, and that's the book that the church uses. Uh, all the pictures I post here for um, music and meanings are scanned from the program or from that book. So you can pause the video anytime. First, there was the introit, which was a Gregorian chant. Um, it was really beautiful. Which um, The Gregorian chant, I believe, was in Latin. Um, obviously, I don't understand Latin, but the program had a meaning on it. Um, I personally can hear Gregorian chants all day, even if I did not know the meaning. So I'll, I'll play a piece here. <laughs> then there was processional hymn. Also, I'll play here. Ordinaries, Curie, and Gloria, and um, and then there's the um, next section, which is Liturgy for, of the Word for 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and that had the first reading and then a psalm, and then there was a second reading, and then the gospel was recited by the senior priest, and then the lady um, who recited the first and second reading directed the Mass to the... Um, Prayer of the Faithful, which was about slavery, and also a silent prayer for um, the loved ones that passed away. And then multiple things started happening, and I kind of got lost. We were at the Liturgy of the Eucharist, and the senior priest was preparing bread and wine, while um, I could not find what music pieces were playing, being played and how the, um, how the Mass knew what and when to respond. Um, then at one point people in front of me um, turned back and shook hands with me while saying peace be with you then I just followed what people um, around me did and went to get bread and wine however I expected it to be real bread um, but, and what I got was more of a really thin cracker um, I have been to Manhattan College Chapel at times other than Mass, and given that's my only basis for comparison, this church was extravagant. Um, there were times when people chose to kneel down, and there was a thing that you could pull out from under the bench in front of you, and behold, it's, it's a cushion for your knees. <laughs> the last ordinary played was Agnes Day before the recessional hymn that surprised me was the number of young people attending the Mass and the racial segregation of the Communion, which was mostly white. And at the end of the Mass, I, um, when I saw the pastors outside the chapel, I told them why I was there and they were very welcoming and said there was no problem if I take pictures of the chapel or pictures with them. Overall, I enjoyed the experience and I believe this was a good introductory visit for future field studies to come.